What's going on you guys? This is MaxKDR, another HP Envy 750 and I'm going to be, this video is a disassembled teardown. So first you're going to do is remove the side cover panel, there's a thumb screw in the back. You're going to slide it to the left. And I'm going to be using guys this uh, Torx uh, T15 screwdriver to remove the screws from the power supply from the motherboard. So first off I'm going to go ahead and start off from the heat sink So processor heat sink is removed, now cooler and we're going to go ahead and remove the 4 pin for the CPU power, 24 pin right here for the power, and it's got a secure clip, so what you have to do is, on the middle right here you have to press your finger like this to release it, same with the 4 pin CPU power, you have to do the same thing, you have to press on to release. Now you're going to disconnect this 3 pin power right here for the rear system fan and you have to use a Phillips screwdriver Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, power supply, there are four screws in the back that you have to remove. Now you're going to disconnect the hard drive, save and power. You're going to disconnect all the SATA cables, plug them to the motherboard. And the SATA cables have a secure clip too, so you have to press on them to release the uh, lock before you're removing them, otherwise you're going to break them off. You have to be really gentle and see they have a secure lock on them clip. You have to press on it. So you can disconnect all the other cables that are connected to the motherboard. The audio header right here. Then the USB 3.0 header. And USB 2.0 header, you have to disconnect. This is a wireless LED, uh, looks like a uh, connector. Okay, so. so we've got everything disconnected. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull the power supply. To do that, there's a secure clip. So, what you do is you press on, uh, take a screwdriver like this, and you press on it to release the power supply, and it should slide out. So, what you have to do is uh, 
I have to take the clip to soft uh, over here. I have to clip it out. I'm gonna remove the wire. It's got wireless land, and you have to remove the wire here. And there's a tape that comes out like this. Okay, that's removed now. I'm gonna slide out the power supply and make sure you disconnect the optical drive connected. And the SATA connect to the optical drive. And the power supply should come right out. So you're gonna take a Torx T15 screwdriver and you're gonna remove all the rest of the screws here in the back. And you're gonna move the front cover basil. It's got a clips right here, the secure clip right here, you take some of the gently. And it comes out like this. So here's the optical drive to do that and it comes out like this. So secure clip right here, the blue, the green, you press on like this and it slides out. So now I'm gonna go ahead guys remove the motherboard. So I'm gonna start off from the bottom and we're gonna remove the memory. can see better like this. So I'm gonna start off in uh, the bottom, remove the screws here. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, looks like eight screws they have to remove. Go the other side. So all the screws are removed. Before you do that, then it's going to want to remove the processor. So you're going to take a. Uh, you're gonna take a napkin and wipe out the, the old thermal compound off because I want to get my hands dirty, so I'm gonna wipe this off. And you're gonna remove there's a clip, you press like this and lift straight up. Just like that. And we're gonna move the CMOS battery. Last part. To do that, you just take a screwdriver like this, you press on this clip and it comes out.
And you're gonna move the back plate IO shield right here, the back for the motherboard. So you take a screwdriver like this, and you hit it and it comes out. And this is for the See you guys at the end of the video. I'm going to try to see if I can move the front here. The glass plastic, it looks like. Yeah, the, the top comes right off too like this. And it's hold by one secure clip right here. You press on it. And then move the top right here. The USB and the power switch, power LED. like this so to do that then you have to remove the wire ties here So this is this is removed. Now be the last part is the front panel switch and the power LED. It's right here. So let's say guys this be a, this is a tear down video and this is the Looks like it's a wireless LAN LED, activity LED. That comes out like that. Take this. So everything's removed. So guys, this is the end of the video. This is for the HP Envy 750. Thanks for watching. Bye.